Alright, stopping back in. Don't remember exactly where we left off. Probably not much done or different. Just grab a, grabbed a slug up there. He hasn't been uh, incorporated to the Council of Slugs, so he doesn't know what he's missing. And they haven't seen him. So we're, we're just, oh, we didn't even need him. We already had a couple power shards. Oh well. We sacrificed another one. So here's my game plan. I'm going to be setting up uh, this out here. Alternate circuit board rubber petroleum coke. We're going to be using um, let's see this for the computers. Crystal computer. Uh, so some of the circuit boards will go to that. This will need crystal oscillators. Um, let's see if we have enough to build this. I think I'm not 100% sure, but I'm probably going to do this one. This version, this alternate. <coughs> uh, which is going to need rubber. I could do this and avoid the, the rubber, but I think we're going to go with this route. And use that to feed the computers on this other one. Um, so everything so far, we just need rubber. Uh, this is going to need... Since we're doing these without rubber or without plastic. Yeah, nothing here is going to need plastic. And then this, this will need rubber also. So essentially the point I'm getting to is we're, we need a lot of rubber with the setup we're going to be going with. And we really don't need plastic. Uh, we'll probably leave a bit. I'm thinking what we do here is uh, up our production. Um, and then I was also... We don't have the recycled rubber one, but that would be nice to get, because we could have set that up as well, so. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put in the power shard into here. I don't know if we'll do one or two. Um, we'll add some more refineries here. I don't know. Space is a bit limited. Those things blow up. be able to squeak in like two more of these maybe oh we don't have the stuff for it so probably two maybe even three we could build some out here and leave this open for pipes to get it through I don't know so it's gonna take a bit of planning but we're gonna change this up a lot so right now we currently just have uh, six of these initial refineries with the crude oil um, two rubber, these four there, all plastic. I think, honestly, since we don't have plastic in any recipes right now, we'll probably just leave, like, honestly, maybe just one. 20 a minute we can stockpile in case we need it. And then have everything else run in rubber. I'm also tempted to go find that alternate rubber recipe, but eh. That could be another time. I'd rather just get this done and start getting these factories set up, so. I think this is going to be kind of boring and slow as I figure this out, so I'll just kind of cut it later when I have some progress for you. We'll see you then. Alright, y'all. Stopped in for a quick check-in. We are back at the oil production site, and I have deleted just about everything. We got these stacked up with some stuff. As we were clearing, um, so <clears throat> I think we're gonna triple overclock this node this time. I'm gonna raise the floors while I'm deleting all the floors. And that thing's uh, finally out of smokeless. So we got too much junk on us. Let's see how much we made though. Pretty nice. Um, since I deleted the floor, we are. Kind of missing some space there. Um, I don't know. Let's just clear a few things. See if that's enough room. Got that. Okay. Let's get the last few. 
power lines there. This, and this should be a blueprint. Okay. So, now we got a fresh spot. The reason I did this was because I had those six wide here. And I had spot room for maybe like two more, but I want to do ten. Um, is that concrete? Yeah. But I want to do ten, so that's what we're kind of trying to figure out here. I don't know if I care about being much higher. It's just kind of leafy over there. This may be about the same anyway. Let's get rid of that. Clear out everything here. Get it nice and fresh. I might do a big block for this part. We'll go with that as like the uh, level here. Let's see, get our extractor, we're going to go this way. My thought is I'm going to kind of run pipe down here with all the refineries this side and then maybe send stuff down there and kind of bring bring all the rubber back this direction. Um, but I'm not 100%. Go to blueprint, not 100% stuck on anything, so... Just lay some of these down, and this is probably the exact same level we had before, so maybe pointless. Um, yeah, let's make sure. I think it's 300. With, uh, three shards in it. We're at 120 now. Where are these things? Yeah, 300 a minute. Okay. Which we don't even have to use the upgraded pipe. This one will still be fine. We're just gonna draw this straight out this way. Now the other thought I had was doing a slight raise here, actually. I forgot about that. We might do that. Do multiple blueprints now. Let's do a raise here. Let's go up like that. Let's use these double so it looks a little better. Let's try that. And then we'll put our blueprints off of this. If it wants to. Does it want to go to the bottom? Kind of hard to see. Is that level? That's where we need it. Um, let's see here. We want a big uh, one of these. We don't need it, but I kind of want to do one here. I don't need some plastic. Let's put that. Lined up. Might not be lined up at all. Let's see. That looks pretty good. We're going to go horizontal vertical mode. There we go. Could just do it like that. I was kind of thinking it would bend right here. I like that better. I wonder if this is a... This has some lift, I think. We don't need pumps all the time. That's drawing a shit to more power. Uh, which is fine, but not gonna be once we get all these <laughs> refineries going. We might be building ourselves out of power here again. I don't think I'm gonna keep this at whole blueprint. We'll just chop that off. Might do this just so it's easy to get around. Let's try uh, uh, it's gonna want to do it off of this let's delete that we can just do regular might even do ch 
chunky ones here. Can't get four, there we go. Okay. And then this one here. Uh, let's see if we can do Maybe I should have left that one piece in. For a moment. H to lock it, we'll nudge it there. That seems good. I'm gonna chunk out this uh, ramp like the other side. And we'll do the pipe down here. Just try to keep it straight. Okay. This is filling that head lift isn't too high. It's like a couple meters. I don't think that seems to be a problem at all. And then let's lay a few more pads out here. Let me start getting stuff set up and I'll Ooh, I'll jump back when we're ready. See it. All right, you guys, uh, stopping in for a quick pop in here. Um, I'm not sure what I'd showed. I got a phone call earlier and kind of just stopped recording. Um, got that hooked up. Our tank. We got ten refineries here, all doing rubber. We're gonna have. 200 of each rubber and heavy oil residue. Heavy oil's here for now. We're gonna set out uh, some more refineries right here, I think. Um, <clears throat> that's as high as it'll fill since it's raised up here, maybe. Oh, that thing's twisted too. I thought that was straight. If we can just. Uh, be crooked. Oops. Might have been holding stuff up. Anyway, that's what we have going. All of these are uh, lifted up, and then I just put mergers over them. All coming down here. Uh, this is 200, so I need Mark three belts here. I wouldn't need them at the end, but I just did it all the way. Keep it clean. And I think we're not producing anymore because this thing's full as full as it can be there so that's where we're at we've set up some assemblers here we'll probably keep here maybe move I don't know um, I think we'll keep them there we'll just route stuff over here I think what we're gonna do is probably four of these uh, that's kind of what I was doing there was some math trying to see what we want to split our oil up far. We're not going to have enough concrete there. So here's what we came up with. We got 200 a minute rubber. I was thinking of doing two assemblers on this, but I might just do one. Um, and the reason is I'm not in a huge rush. We'll just let them slowly stack. And uh, I want to do four of these. We're doing the alternate recipe here. Um, so let's see. Modular engine, we'll just have one manufacturer, not an assembler. So that'll use 15 rubber a minute. We'll have a alternate crystal here. We're using 13.125. We got a lot of quartz available. We haven't set up yet, but uh, get mo a lot more than that will be easy. Our AI limiters, I forget exactly, but I think we're making like 20 a minute or something. So I'm thinking we have four manufacturers just with this regular 100% setup. Um, we should have enough quartz and AI limiters to easily handle that. So we'll do four, which is going to take 15.5 minute rubber, uh, which leaves us 132.5 rubber. What we're going to do is just uh, four of these. These use 30 apiece. 
Uh, we'll need 180 petroleum coke. That shouldn't be an issue. It'll give us uh, 20 a minute. And I think that's what we're going to end up going with. I've been kind of uh, messing around with some math. So. Well, I already said this. I'm sort of rambling. So what I think we'll do is... Um, 30 a minute times 4. Uh, 120 total. And then that gives us... Uh, 12.5 left over, which we um, might just sink. I don't know what we'll do with it. Stack up a little extra storage with it. I don't know. We'll probably do an overflow. Overflow sink, so um, let's get that set. I think I'm happy with that. We have no plastic production here. Another thing I could do is take some of this. I think you need 30 rubber. We could do an underclocked one um, with the recycled plastic. So we would have to set up some fuel here. But we could do like a, oh, what do we have, 12.5? So somewhere right there. We could pretty much do that. We'd have to make a little bit of fuel but that could give us 25 a minute plastic, so that's a potential use for this. Um, not 100% sure if I'll do that or not. We may just leave this as a full rubber plant and take a, another node and set up for plastic if we need it later, but the way we're arranging the recipes we're planning on, there's not really a need to. So the other thing I'm going to need to make here is our petroleum coke which I think it's 45 each. So we'll, we'll have four machines, we'll want to make 90. That's not going to take much of this, honestly. Would we need 190? So, I mean, let's see. Maybe we need 190, we could just do half. Uh, brain's not working. 85. So we're not going to use a lot of ho heavy oil residue to for the amount we need for four of those. So that's something we need to address is what's the rest going to go to? Um, this could likely be what we'll end up doing. And then I could package it and sink it or burn it off on some fuel generators over here. Could use some with this, but we'd have to set up a thing there and we'd have to... This would be a nice eventual setup. So, I don't know. Residual. What else uses it? We could just make a ton. We could just make all... Use it all up for petroleum coke and sink the rest. Which is what we might actually do. And then it leaves us flexibility to change it up later if we want to make fuel or something else. But we got to get this uh, moving because it'll hold all these up like it is right now. So, um, what did that use? We're making the same amount as rubber, so 200. So if we, what, four, five, six, five? My brain is not working yet again. Yeah, five. So we could do five. That'll use all of it. So I think that's what we'll do. Add five refineries here. Uh, pipe out the heavy oil residue. I may also start setting up some uh, uh, colors. Let's see. I'm sure you could look up codes and get the exact color, but let's let's see. It's right there. It's kind of bright in the light, sort of pinkish purple. Let's see. I don't know. I'm just gonna copy paste that into both. 
How does that look? Pretty close to the color in there. It's a little pinkier, let's see. A slightly more purple. Let's try that. How's that look? Looks alright. Still a little pinky versus purpley. Let's try this. I should look up. I wonder if there's a People have the actual color codes for them, I'm sure. Sure some nerds figure that out. When you update this color, the ones you've already painted with that are gonna update too. So anyway, that's what we'll be doing to setting up these, get the petroleum coat going. I'll delete this. It's just for some calculations. We'll get this rubber. Set to feed into there. Petroleum and coke there. Add a whole nother set of these two assemblers. Might do like uh, some pads or something here. We're gonna set some containers up. Oh yeah, we have no concrete. Uh, to bring out the stuff back and then I'll kinda want to line it up to take it back that away, but we'll have to figure that out. We've still been avoiding doing any actual roads or vehicles or stuff. I may just uh, conveyor it all the way over there, which, eh, I don't know. It's easier. It's lazy and it looks worse, but and it's fun to mess with the vehicles. But we're not making that crazy a volume, so there's not going to be a ton of need. Like, we'll probably do two separate lines of rubber to take to the two other things needed and then we'll have a separate line just for I mean we'll be making 20 of these it's not worth setting up trucks or anything for the rubber might be a bit more but not really 15 52 5 so anyway I'm rambling again we'll get this uh, fully flushed out here and I'll cut back when we have it set up and show you where we're at see you then yeah all right checking back in here um what i decided to do with the residual fuel is we're going to have two of these using up 80 total and that'll give us 240 petroleum coke we're only going to use 180 of it so we'll send we'll do a smart splitter and send the rest to a sink I might do it there or something i don't know um, and then we're going to use the rest of it. Um, so 60 each for that and this to make us 80 fuel. Um, so that's what I decided. So I just need to belt these two together, get a smart splitter and a sink, and then belt the... Uh, we're going to attach into this side. And then we'll get the rubber out of the container over there, belt it in there. I'll still need to make an exit for those. So I got four assemblers set for the uh, that alternate circuit board recipe. Um, and then we're going to do uh, some fuel generators here. We're going to make 80, and it's regular fuel, which uses uh, 12. So I'm going to do seven fuel generators here, is what I was getting supplies for, a hand hammered heavy modular frame I really need to get those automated and the computers we have that cheesy setup but it's not permanent at all so so we'll do six and one underclock um, and let's see that should make us a thousand extra <clears throat> which is a good bit of power it'll help power this whole thing and give us an extra bit as well so we don't have a ton of room I just put down these uh, blueprint pads so I think I can do four here and then I'll do a pump some up and do the three up top um, but we got a nice bit of explosives here <laughs> that's pretty fun okay so 
that was my quick check-in. I'll uh, try to get this all up and running. And then um, figure out where we go from there. After that, we'll work on figuring out uh, getting rubber back for the other items and getting the yield circuit boards back as well. We'll see you in a bit. All right, we are back. Here's how the uh, new refinery area here is looking. Uh, <clears throat> the generators aren't plugged in. I'm waiting for them to load up with fuel, which they might be ready by now. Let's see if we're making some circuit boards. Nice. Slowly but surely. Okay. Um, yeah, 20 a minute for the four of them. So, what we need to do is plug in these. If they're all full. If these are filling up, then they're those. Getting those a little more full, kind of having the buffer on them. And then we need to remember to set one to uh, that. So that will be 100 megawatts off that. We're we still getting a thousand. Seems like it. Okay. Um, actually, I could just check if these are all full. We don't need a ton of the buffers. There's no real big need. These are better to not plug in when you set them up and just let the fuel fill up. Same like a coal power plant. Coal power plant. So we are all full. Let's check our production. 3133. Um, how much are we using here? Using quite a bit. This hasn't gotten dipped into yet, so. We should have a little bit more power buffer here. Set an orange color for all the fuel stuff. As you can see, petroleum coke is set up for making 240. We don't need all of it. As you can see, we're losing frames. We've got uh, every now and then when there's too much, this. Just overflow it. Sink for that. That's pretty much where we're at. Our next big step is um, bringing those circuit boards back. And then I was also thinking. Uh, we're using 120 of the rubber. So. These each put out 20. Just do six of these, and then not have to redirect from back there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So from this one, we could send all the rubber that away. Just get ready to use it elsewhere. So I might do that right now. Um, and then I need to figure out a plan for the circuit boards, so I'll probably come back when we have those arranged. I need to move this too. It shoots you right into the <laughs> pads in the rock. The nice thing about blueprints is you can easily delete them also. Just press R. Um, let's put it over here. 
Could make fuel generator, refinery blueprints if we want to have something more standard looking. that stuff over here and that um Nothing amazing, but a lot cleaner than what we had prior. So now we got to take it that way and get it over these refineries there. Let's see. Uh, yep, exactly a thousand megawatts. So that's nice. Gives us some more buffer room to finish um, getting some of the computer stuff going. Nice. Oh, I need to finish moving these belts this way. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. When we figure out how to get this, I might just do a ridiculous sky bridge like I did on some of the other stuff. Just to get it above some of this. So, we'll figure it out. We slowly make stuff a little nicer and then just do something sloppy like that, but that's kind of how it goes. For me, at least. Did build a little step up there, and I kind of cleaned up this, um, got a nice little shape going there. Eh, nothing special. I just think it looks a lot better than what we had before. Having some of the colors is nice, so. We may set up another node like this and do plastic later if we need it, but for right now this is perfect. So. Alright, rambling, dragging on. See ya. Alright, I did not get off yet um, from that last break. I did make a... Oh, I thought we put this... Edit, drag it in the machines. There we go. Apply changes. Okay. Um. So I use the machines lifted blank that I had, which is just nothing on it. We cleared the uh, catwalk off the back, and that's enough room. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Look at that in. We gotta save it. Um, and then yeah, I just got four floor holes, elevators, one out the back. Catwalk here is gone. Added some more uh, pattern here. And then what we have is uh, set up like this. So. I have splitters off all these in case I want to do some lined up. First hole there, and then these are all kind of just sprawled out evenly. I don't need all this stuff, but it, then it won't clip, and if I'm down here, it should look better. Drive me less crazy. And then four lines out in case you're doing multi manufacturer lines, so. Then it'll be. Pretty much just connecting like two feet between these. Um, and then one line out here. And that's it. And these are all Mark One, and then I just gotta remember to increase them as needed for higher higher amount parts. So there's that. We made that so we can do the uh, modular engine factory. I was also thinking go ahead and clear this out. I need the parts. 
Um, I was also thinking since versatile frame is filled up, we don't need this line bringing them down here anymore. Um, and I might just move that container back with these other ones so we have enough to keep backing them up. And then I might uh, utilize this line for the motors for for modular engines. That way I can just delete some of this and tie in the engines from over here. Uh, their motors, their I added another container, so just need to get that from there to here. Tie it into here. Swap this up, and then I can. Uh, where that container is, I can maybe even leave that. We don't really need it there, but get them just a bit further over to the f where we're trying to do this. So I was going to get off. I kind of want to finish this uh, modular engine factory, get those going in the background. So uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, hopefully, I probably jump back in when I set it up and we see if that manufacturer. I blueprint it actually works correctly so see you then all right we're still going here Haven't, didn't get off we wanted to get this uh, get this production going so now the smart plating is flowing I had those signs and I needed about six thousand I was mm, about 750 short we almost have enough kind of was debating just letting them stack and then we could shut it down knowing we're good but eh. we'll just let it run I wanted to get this tested make sure we're working over there so the motors we just replaced that uh, versatile frame line we had here got rid of the storage container there um, Sliding against the direction these are going. <laughs> so I just dumped uh, extras in here. So I'll cut that line off. We, I don't know if I showed this or not. We got the motors coming from over there. Up through here. And then I just picked up on that old line with this wonky turn on it. I didn't want to redo all this, there's no point. This is already ready to go. Good replacement line, and then we have a... These can actually stretch longer the lifts when you use the conveyor holes, but eh, this is fine. It's a pretty big drop. Kind of a nice feature. So this is slowly fading in. And then we had gotten the rubber down here. Oh yeah, you can't fly. Thing's got some invisible angles you're not allowed to go around. Bigger than the visual one. We got rid of the sink. Oops. Connected the line. I need to do something with these here soon. Got the rubber coming down. Smart splitter here. We'll just keep this thing full and then all the excess will go here. I have that go somewhere, but I just want to keep it flowing for now. Or else it'll back up the oil. And there comes the first smart plating. Hello? Is it working? <laughs> or do we have a problem? Mm, it feels like it's been a while. Let's see. Oh, it's in there here. It's in this line. Okay. Yeah. Or this one. Yeah, that one there. Okay. And we should be in business for that part now. Maybe. One a minute, something like that. Yep. Alright. 
that's good to get going and we can let these go in the background we'll need 500 for this and then 2500 in the next stage um, I don't know what the stack size is I got two containers here though so we can back up some once that finishes make sure we're still making some there we go Very nice. So, feed through both of those and go right in. And then that's good because this can back up. We can just delete it and have these containers fill up. So, very nice. Finally got a space bar going that I've been ignoring. Is that upside down? Too lazy to care right now. We're just having fun. Okay. Took a sec. And then we'll probably get rid of the sink uh, once we get the rest of the rubber where we need it. So. Nice, one a minute. We got one in the elevator, 500 minutes ago, 499. <laughs> That's good though. Those can be making us progress while we get computer stuff going. So, I don't know. This is probably getting kind of long. We'll see if we have some more in this episode. Nice. Maybe we'll buy some stuff soon. And we don't have heavy mod frames. So we might tear this down. This temporary computer setup. I don't really need it up and running still. So. This seems to be working out well. Got that making stuff. This belt is not a nice 90 degree turn like I thought. We'll deal with it some other time. I want to kind of start incorporating uh, this. I'm kind of debating if we maybe, uh, I don't know, bring stuff here, make something here. Giant open area down here. We'll probably build a lot bigger once we get into the next phase and have everything unlocked and can just go crazy. Okay, so I've been busy setting up. Uh, I tore down that old kind of temporary courts arrangement we had. Put a bunch of constructors here. It's a 240 node, and we're using it all. Just making a uh, crystal. This one's underclocked a little, and then six at full. And got an overflow set up there, but now we're ready to integrate it because we got everything else done up here, except for the belts underneath. Um, so. Making progress. Finally, I've a little catawonky like that. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna bring this. Oh, now I have a three. We only really needed a two, but yeah, let's replace it. Do the two on the lift. Okay. Out. 
going. Incoming. Oh. So, probably get this crystal to work before it's even. Going into the sink back there, so that's good. This, both of those are alright with 60. I think this is like 75. Uh, yeah, these aren't as good. The multi -man multi manufacturer. So I really need to get the uh, heavy frames going here sometime. It's driving me crazy hand hammering those every time I do. Delete all these ends here. Um, sorry. Be a little boring when I do this, but Okay now. What the heck? Is this in the blueprint? It's off center. Oh uh, that's nice. <laughs> we'll have to fix that. Um, I'm not going to be using all of these. Uh, yeah, that's definitely the, bl the blueprints off. That's an annoying. We already have the other products in here. The rubber and the... Uh, I'm just going to delete off these extras since this is only a three. Reuse one. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Yeah, this blueprint for these manufacturers is kind of. I could use a little improving on it. I should also do the math and double check I'm right that these don't need. Higher belts on these ones. Let's see, let's do that. And that filter, you can press G for filter if you don't know. When you're dismantling. Get all these products rolling in here. Set a little uh, extra space out here. Get some storage going, and then we'll get these to a computer factory. Double back up, but in case we do, let's get that prepared. That belt should be fine. This is going to be. What can I think of this oscillator? Let's do a sink off to the right here. Go right side overflow. Look that in. Uh, are these powered? No. I already copy pasted the recipe on all, so we should be good there. Let's bring some power from there. Okay. We should be making some oscillators soon. Let's see. Let me double check. 13, 1, 2, 5. Yeah, that'll be fine. The 60 belt, just, just a bit under. Should be producing enough for all that, no problem. So, there's one more step done towards uh, our crystal computer creation. I'm trying to save some of these big trees, but we've got a 
clear some out as we've been building today. Have to get this one a little bit lower. Okay. Great. So I don't think I showed it actually. Oh. Gotta remember to fix that manufacturer blueprint underneath but anyway we brought the AI limiters across on this big kind of sky bridge all the way from the copper out there and then it comes down here and then we uh, got it in there and then the rubber I don't know if I showed this or not we just made kind of a Big staggered path out here. And then it's hooked in from up there. I doubt this will back up, but in case it does, I have that sink there. Maybe making a little extra rubber on this side, so we'll see. I've got a spot to go if it because we need to make sure that keeps flowing or else those refineries back up all the oil production does so things are moving along these are feeding that well looks like we're up to 101 already nice we'll get to the uh, adaptive control of it eventually we can actually update our goals here too we've got modular engine factory done rubber decords for oscillators and AI limiters oscillators okay crystal computer there's a good remainder of goals there so crystal computer we got the boards right there and our crystal just where we were so I may even use that same rubber track and just do one on the side of it right next to all this and then where that one goes in we can just split the uh, boards to go around to the side or something I don't know I'm trying to plan stuff out but it's really not I don't know I'm kind of haphazardly just putting stuff together to get it going but here's an overview of all the new stuff the new crystal mine Still got this pure node. We may use that for silicon for alumina. We'll see how we get there. This is our first multi manufacturer setup. Looks like everything's feeding away in there, so that's good. And this will make us quite a few of these. Not a ton, but. Let's see, we'll be making four, a bit under eight. Is that one point in two? So that'll be seven and a half. Yeah. Seven seven and a half a minute. Can I make another of these? Um, oh actually we don't need this. The crystal computer will be on the assembler. Because it's only two. So two point eight one three. This matches that. We're going to want to save some of these for radio control units later. And then we've got 20 circuit boards a minute coming in. So I don't know. Maybe we'll do two. Just a double assembler setup like this. We'll be making, what, a bit over five a minute? That's pretty good. And that'll use, what, 15 circuit boards? We could have five left over. Could have f the extra five feed the, um... What's it called? Adaptive control. I think those need some. Yes. Oh, and they need five. So we could just do one of these. Perfect. We'll need to get that automated. So, computer factory next. Is this our... Okay, we made nine. 
Not bad. Well, catch up with you when we do the computer factory. And finish out from there. See ya. So I just stopped back at the manufacturer before, at the blueprint designer before calling it a night, fixed the manufacturer. And then I am gonna do a start on a slug office. I don't know if this will be our final design for it. But, uh, I'm gonna ramp up. to look at my other slug sign. Then we can do whatever color we want for the text. We can do like, depending on what color slug we have. I don't know. This will just be a fun, dorky thing we can do. We can use some of these. These are the coated concrete. I don't know if it looks great with this color I've got, but... get some more of the symbols and stuff. And then we'll probably do some windows. I don't know if we'll do just around here. Or all sorts of slugs. I think we'll just keep it one story. roof yet. I don't have a glass roof, so I don't know if that'll look better than the glass frame. Probably. We'll probably do some beams. Kind of decorate this thing up. Let's go higher than the mark. Let's see. So like twist the scroll wheel. Yeah, scroll wheel. Get some nice rotation. I do that. Do some connectors on that. Go this way. Do separate some of the colors on these. This isn't like a final set stone design, but figure out what we want to do. Okay, I can't t twist this one because it's locked into that. Interesting, good to know. We may do, uh, can we do a straight one?
first on this side. So just a couple of straight ones. Twist. Well, not knowing me. So I'm for the first leg. So I messed up by deleting that. <laughs> oh no. That's fine. We could actually leave this open or even do something fun. Like diagonal. No, I could do that. I control which way it goes. Oh, it's got this connection. Across. Anyway, I'll probably keep messing with this and just get a preliminary slug, slug office design going. Wonder if we can do maybe some more pillars. Probably parts of whatever they're overseeing operations for in here. Yeah, this does feel kind of low. This slug. So maybe we'll raise it up higher. I don't know. I do want to have like a screen production screen like uh, somewhere? Well, this could work. Stuff like that. Anyway, I'm going to mess with this a bit more. And I'll see you.